So the first thing we're going to do is select the room we want the driver to be installed in. Just search for video wall. You'll see the video wall driver here by Blackwire, video wall. And go ahead and add that into the room. You'll see the video but wall button show up down here at the bottom and you can name it appropriately. We're just going to name it video wall. Excellent. Now, what you want to do is select the room that you want the video wall to show up in and then go to navigator. Let's go to watch, say modify, and then you'll be able to add the video wall button in. Now, notice I have another video wall button in a different room here. Uh, this video wall button is the one you want to show. We'll show, we'll do a file refresh navigators. And that'll push out the video wall button onto the interface. Let's take a look at the configuration. Now here you'll see the video wall license. Go ahead and put that in and hit set. The license will get verified. You'll see driver information. Um, and here's the mode. Uh, we have easy 2x2, easy 3x3, video tiler, and expert mode. These will correspond to the icons that you have for each individual mode. And of course, expert mode gives you the ability to configure and push out what Ever image you want doesn't matter. It could be a Tyler image, could be a two by two, three by three, could be the off screen. Doesn't matter. You can push that out straight from programming, which is great. But let's stick with easy two by two. We'll hit set. Now you'll notice if we change to two three by three, it'll give us the options for three by three here. But let's stick with two by two for now because we have a two by two video wall. Now I want to show the off and I want to show the multi, but I want to hide the two by two on. Now, when I go to the interface, it will only show the off and the multi. And when I tap, it'll cycle in between them. I can also select from the room that I'm in the projector um, that is going to be running the video wall. And or one of the four projectors in this case that would be running the video wall. Uh, the power state for the projector will be tracked. So whenever the projector gets powered off by control four, it will send an alert to this driver and the driver will then switch over to the off mode. It'll just, you'll see the little off icon. A simple tap will bring it back up to multi. Now, how would you be able to program this? Let's take a look. Under programming, you'll notice underneath the video wall, you'll have some device variables. These two are used for the button itself. We don't use them in this driver, but here you'll see the TV state. Um, so you'll get notifications when the power changes, but really don't need any uh, information on that. Uh, you can get that from the projector or the TV or whatever, but here's the wall state. Now, when this wall state changes, you can go over here and do whatever you want. So let's take a look at this. If we go to wall state and we go to device variables and say, let's do a check on this. We'll just do conditional. We'll say if it's false and if it's true. And here we can you know, do all sorts of stuff. If the video state is false, then we'll execute um, some commands to our video wall to turn the video wall off. Easy enough. If the video wall state is true, we'll turn it, we'll turn it on. And that's basically how the two by two easy driver works.